So today I'm gonna try to watch this squiggle pack and play. Uh, this is given to us by a friend, and well, because uh, his kids are much older, so he doesn't need it anymore. But uh, we still want to try it out, and uh, it is very dirty. So we, today we're gonna try to clean it, and we watch quite a bit of video on how to clean this thing, uh, especially this thing, the mattress. Because uh, the mattress, apparently, uh, you cannot take it apart to wash the cloth part. Uh, they do have plaque, woods, well, this is like a cardboard inside. So, it is completely sealed up. And what we end up doing is to cut the seams to take out the plaque woods here. Ours come in four plaques. So, there's like four pieces here. Now, some people have one, only one plaque. For ours, it's like a, a cardboard kind of material. Some people have plastic. If you have plastic, then yes, you probably do not need to take it out because it's much easier to clean and so on and so forth. But for this kind of cardboard, a hard cardboard, you do need to take it out. Otherwise, uh, if you soak this into solution, it will just ruin this entire thing. Now, okay, uh, a couple of things before we get started. Uh, just FYI, if you have anything in here, it's best off you vacuum this beforehand. So you take out as much as the bigger chunks as you can before you start uh, soaking this in solutions. Now, what I'm gonna show you today is uh, we're gonna soak it into the bathtub and then we're gonna show you another way to wash this is with the garden hose. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Okay, so the clean solution I'm gonna use, I got this ingredient from today.com. Well, using just the detergent itself is not gonna work. Uh, you need to have detergent. Uh, if you have OxyClean, that would be even better. And then vinegar and baking soda. So the ratio is a quarter cup of the, uh, the detergent, a quarter cup of the vinegar, and half a cup of baking soda. And you mix this you know, and before you pour it into the bathtub. So I already pour in the quarter cup here and then now I'm just gonna dump in the vinegar. Oh, it's fairly thick. So anyway, this is the solution I'm gonna go use. Okay, so I have put the mattress on the bottom and then put the baby pen on the top so that it weigh it down so the mattress won't go anywhere and you have to use the hottest water that you can get uh, out of your uh, faucet and then you have to pour in the solution And you need to have enough water to make sure this entire thing is submerged. And then uh, after that, just have to wait for about an hour and come back and check on this thing. Well, uh, I think I'm, every now and then I'm going to come down here and then kind of stir the water a little bit. You know, sometimes the dirt will not come out until you kind of agitate it. Okay, so after an hour, uh, the water looked pretty muddy. Now we're just going to take it to outside and hose it down. All right, just for comparison, this is what the water looks like. Uh, I'm not sure if you can see it, but it is very dirty. All right, so look at all this dirt that's been left over after the water is drained. So yeah, you really need to soak it in order to clean this playpen. Okay, so according to the instruction, after you have soaked it for an hour, you need to rinse it down with cold water. Now. In our shower, the bathroom, uh, the shower head cannot be removed. So it's not one of those, you, we have a hose. So we had to come out here to use the garden hose to hose it down. Now for those of you who don't have a, a bathtub, this can be an alternative to clean this uh, playpen. So what you do is same, you have to use the detergent. So I have a brush here. Uh, same ingredient for the solution. You just dip it into the solution and start scrubbing the entire thing down. Now, obviously, you want to hose it down with water first before you do the scrubbing. Now, since I already soaked it for an hour, but I'm still going to scrub it down with the brush 
and the hose to just give a little bit more detail. Okay, so for the mattress, even though we took out the cardboard, uh, make sure that you don't put it into the washing machine to wash it, otherwise it might lose the shape. But for the majority of the surface dirtiness, they were all gone. So yeah, the soaking part really works. So now I'm just kind of going to rinse it down a little bit more. Since we soak it in for over an hour, you just want to make sure that majority or most of the uh, laundry detergent is out because the baby will be sitting in the playpen with this mattress. So yeah, just rain it a few more times. Clean the cardboards. Uh, well, obviously you don't want to rinse it. Uh, I have here is 25% vinegar with water. So you just wipe it down with the towel and let it air dry as well. Okay, so after all this has been done, just let it air dry. It's best to start doing this in the early morning and let the sun does its thing and I'll come back later to see how they are. All right, so this is bone dry now. Uh, we left it outside for half a day and under the sun. So everything is dry and it's really, really clean. Now for the mattress, we uh at the end we, we we decided just take out the phone um just because it's so much easier to dry it and we also wipe down the cardboard as well so now i'm gonna show you how we're gonna put it back and my wife later is actually gonna uh show you how to sew this back up again using a very nifted tool that she just got all right so as i was attempting to record uh I lost the footage, it didn't really record, so I didn't even know that. But anyway, I put the phone in, uh, it, it was a little bit struggle, but yeah, it, it, you just have to kind of keep pushing it, uh, be a little be patient, and uh, it will go in. Now, as far as for the boards, there are four of them. There are kind of a cutout point to hold all four panels. They do have slots for the boards inside the mattress. So yeah, uh, that's how you put back the foam and the board. Uh, then now my wife is just going to sew up the top portion and then the mattress will be good as new. Hey guys, so to close this mat, what I end up doing is that I hand stitch with regular needle and thread and this is one option just to keep the foam and the, the tablet secure or the panel secure so what i end up doing is i secure at the four locations actually three locations so one two and three and so once i secure it with the thread needle i just sew it all the way through until the end and some people may choose to secure it with a sewing machine, but because I'm not a professional seamstress, so I have here a hand sewing machine. And this is super inexpensive. I found it in Amazon for about 10 bucks. So I'm gonna try to see if I could secure this with this handheld sewing machine. So I'm gonna start off from the middle. Sorry, I ran the sewing machine all the way through the edges and now I could just use this one to do it all over again. So let me try it. So I'm going to start off again from the middle. The tricky part is in the corners. Those are the hardest to do. All right, so now that side is done, I'm going to finish this side. So I think now it's done. Right. 
So here is the finished product. It's not perfect, but it did the job of securing this little flap. Um, my trick is to sew it with a regular needle and thread uh, before going through the sewing machine because the flap is very flimsy. So I just did, I just sew it in very small parts and then run the sewing machine through it. And that's how I did it. Okay, here is a before video. And now the after. As you can see, it is super clean. And also, I think my wife did a really good job on sewing back the mattress. To prevent future spill and dirty up the mattress further, we bought a cover. This is from Bello Band. I'll put the link in the description below. So <laughs> yeah, the kid is awake right now. Uh, you just cover it up like so. So it's just as simple as to cover it up and it's perfect fit as well. All right, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, comment down below. I'll try to answer as soon as possible. And uh, so, yeah, this is how we clean this and uh, it comes out really good. Um, until next time, bye.